I don't know what it is this week one week one week but I have the worst luck ever as far as meeting guys for a first date from online I don't know what is happening but people just don't have time for it and I don't have I don't have the patience for it so the guy Monday Monday Sunday Monday I don't even know he's the one who totally went ghost some UAV pilot total dick never heard from him again don't care over it sick of it okay so I had two others I was chatting with one of which was a pilot is a pilot but I guess we'll go ahead and use past tense why not why not he asked to make plans for yesterday I said, okay, that's great. Well, there was a lack of communication that occurred because he didn't realize that I would have a regular schedule for work and I didn't even think about his schedule, but he had the whole day off. Oh, and I'm just tired because I'm at the end of two or 10 days straight of work. So, um, anyway, he texted me yesterday, this guy, the pilot, and he said, how about that hike? Whatever, whatever. I'm like, yeah, cool. Um, and he said he needed to do it before 530 because it was the playoffs and it was like the playoffs. And so I said, well, I don't even get off of work until 4 30 and I need to get ready because fellas fellas we're females we don't just like you know roll out of the shower after 10 minutes of getting ready and then we're ready to go like I have massive amounts of hair and I have to wear a uniform every day and pull my hair back so I like to try and look nice for when I meet somebody and it takes me 30 minutes alone just to do my hair, dry it, um, fix it. It's very thick and long. So, I wish guys would like take that into consideration, but it doesn't seem like they do. Anyway, um, I told after I told him I would need to get ready, he said that, well, this is game seven and he, he wants to watch it. He can't miss it. Okay. Alrighty then. I guess our plans are canceled. And then, yeah, so I mean, that's really basically it on that one. So that was supposed to be last night. And then tonight, I was supposed to meet a Another guy, he happens to be the baseball player who's here for training and I actually did, we actually have video chatted back and forth because it was just like, you know, it's just hard to believe people, but he was the real deal and we were really clicking and connecting and we were both really excited to meet, we were going to meet at 6.30 and go on a hike. We're gonna go hike the living room because neither of us have gone and done that. But he's really big into hiking and I like hiking. So he decided to do that. And he um, said that he had had an appointment at four o'clock today and he didn't know how long it would go. And so I texted him after I got off work like, hey, are we still on? I know you have your appointment. Um, he's like, yeah, we're still on, but this lady didn't show up until 45 minutes late. 
and I'll let you know. And I was like, okay, well, if you don't mind, like, can we pos postpone it till 630? Because we were supposed to meet at six. Because again, I got home and I got ready, even though we were going on a hike, like, it's not a strenuous hike. We're just going to take our time. It's a two mile hike. Um, I still wanted to get ready um, because, you know, I mean, my hair is a selling feature. Like, it is a selling feature. So, anyway, he said, yeah, 6.30 will work. Well, then I sent him a dropped pin of where we could meet at the trailhead. And um, I didn't get a, a message from him. And so, you know, I headed out. And I was kind of late because I went to the store and picked up some snacks for the hike, you know, because where we were going to go is the living room and there's these rocks that you can sit on. And so I went and got some snacks and I got him a bottle of water. I have a hiking pack, but I didn't know if he was going to bring anything. So anyway, I headed out after I got my hour snacks. And uh, for some reason, then my phone decided to update and a message came through from him that he had sent 25 minutes earlier. And he's like, yeah, this meeting is still going on. And it looks like it was some meeting for work interview. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so I was like, okay, well, can you please let me know? Because I was headed up there and I got ready and I'm feeling, I'm not feeling very thrilled. So he finally texts me at like after seven and said that they finished. He didn't think I would still want to do the hike. Um, I said, yeah, I still want to do it. What do you want to do? And he's like, well, I still want to hang out. Uh, but I just don't know how late we'll be because he's training for the major league, major leagues, and he's very regimented in his sleep schedule and workout and diet, and I get that. But there have been some mornings where he's texts me in the morning when he wakes up, and we've texted until like 8:30, and he sent me a picture of himself, and he's still at home. Like, so you can sleep in a little bit later if we go on a hike a little bit later. So anyway, I said, um, so. Is it important like that you have to go to bed early because I think he I think he likes to be in bed at like starting at 9 and then by 10 and he wants nine hours of sleep so he's like yeah and I should probably eat too and I was like um so I bought some snacks and I haven't eaten dinner either like I, yeah, I bought some snacks for this hike that doesn't look like it's happening, um, but if you need to eat and go to bed, then we'll just have to cancel. So he texts me back and says, I'll need a full meal. I will need a full meal with like some frowny face thing. I was like, dude, really? Like, seriously, you couldn't just this one night, you know, maybe grab something simple or even say, hey, would you rather go grab something to eat? I had just told you I didn't eat. And so after he said, I will need a full meal. I said, okay, I guess we will cancel. And he said, okay, sorry about that. <sighs> you know, if it's very frustrating because we have these set plans with guys, they just keep falling through. Um, I just don't know why I put in this effort of actually like full on getting ready and they're just kind of flaky about it. It's not really important. They can cancel it for a basketball game on TV or 
a bedtime. Yeah. So I was like, with each upcoming date this week from the guy who went ghost on me, I was really looking forward, you know, I was like, okay, it's okay, you know, didn't put all my eggs in one basket, like, I still have this guy I'm going to meet up with, he doesn't work out. All right, I still got this baseball player dude, like, I'm really mostly excited about him, um, okay, whatever, those other ones didn't work out, no big deal. And then this one doesn't work out, so I am feeling pretty pissed um I'm feeling like I just want to be like F O to all of you I just don't get it I just don't get it so um I just told this guy tonight I just said okay it's good talking to you you know he didn't make any attempt to like set other plans for maybe later this weekend or he said that I I um, was his match his first match in quite a while and I know that guys don't get a ton on there and girls typically get bombarded which we do so I don't know maybe he has other plans this weekend and or maybe that's just like that's it I, I don't get it oh so irritating why so here I sit already on a Thursday evening after working 10 days straight super tired and um, with a hiking pack full of snacks and some water yeah I should go on the hike anyway but um, honestly I'm really tired and I actually uh, just tried to go lay down and my mind is just irritated so it's not really happening I'm just pissed I am I'm pissed and that is all